Jacks are on their way. In an ordinary sofa, in an ordinary room, extraordinary heroes who are standing by to see. Watch it, Three. Sorry. What's the problem? Oh, I can't find it. Can't find what? Three's lost one of his slidey shapes. I can't find it anywhere. Not surprised. They're all over the place. I'm just playing with them. Let's help her look. OK. As long as she stops flinging them my way. OK. What does the slidey shape you've lost look like? It's a circle shape. Um. Is this it? No, that's a blue circle. I need a yellow circle. You know, like the sun. Right. Let's sort out all the yellow things here and see if there's a yellow circle anywhere. OK. Not yellow, not yellow, not yellow. Three. Yellow. Oh, not a circle, though. Three. Not yellow, not yellow. Three. What? Look. It's yellow and it's a circle. Hooray! I found the slidey shape and I did it all by myself. Six and I helped you. Well, maybe a tiny bit. Three! That's the alarm! Race you! Agent 88 here, something's going wrong. But not for long. Tell us about it. Things are going missing. I'm putting this on screen. What's gone missing? Some of these building blocks, some pens and some paint. So who's going to go? Me, me, oh please me! You go for. You found Three's yellow circle. Maybe you can find that girl's things. Mm, I'm not sure. I am. I'll go. Need you here, Three. Oh. Need you to work out what's going wrong in that room. You're good at that. Yes, I am, aren't I? Let's go then, Four. We've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We've got a problem. Do we Number four. Checking it's all clear for launching. The goldfish are watching. Don't worry about them. They forget things very quickly. All clear, then. Finding a four to land on. Found some fours. Got a four. Clear to land. Phew. Made it. Everything seems OK at the moment. Keep your eyes open, four. Whoa! Why are all these things going missing? Is there something the same about them all? You're right, Three. Well done. 
I'm clever, aren't I? Another call. Strange things are going on by the river. On my way. Well, I think someone's up to no good. And I think I know who that someone is. <laughs> Spooky spoons here. <laughs> Yellow. Ooh, that's got to go. <laughs> Zip. You'll have to find a way to stop her, Four. Here's the data on Spooky Spoon. On screen. Uh-oh. One, two, three. She's mean, she's bossy, she's very cruel. She thinks she's great, she thinks she's cool. She's only plastic, but she thinks she's fantastic. Because she thinks she is Spooky Spoon. Right, I'd better try and find out where she's gone now. Look what's happening in the sports hall. And outside in the park. Red things! Spooky started taking red things. But why? Oh, tell you why. I am tired of all these lovely colours in the world because they make me look boring! Boo! What a meanie! <laughs> Just try and stop me. <laughs> Here I am. No sign of spooky, though. You've just missed her. She's taking red things now. The agents are back. Calling all number jacks. We're losing blues. The blue shirts have gone too. They can't play anymore. No one knows which team they're on. Oh, no. If she goes on taking all the colours from the world, just think what might happen. Ooh, 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 ooh. No more beautiful red roses. No more green grass or leaves. No more blue sky. And no more bright yellow sun. It'll be a very dull world. I just thought, if Spooky's taking blue things, then what about me? <laughs> yes! It's time to take you, Mr. Blue. <laughs> She's taken four! She's taken four! OK, we, we mustn't panic. She's gone too far this time. Scanning the park for him now. I hope he's OK. I can't see him anywhere. Agents ringing in to help. You need to put Blue back into the world. And that will get four back. We'll need brain gain. Think blue, everyone. Blue like the sky. Blue like the sea on a sunny day. Here it comes! There he is. But he looks funny. We need something extra blue in the machine. Something blue like four. I know. Four's buddy blocks. I'll get one. Brilliant, three. Where am I? Thanks, Three. Now, everybody, think blue again. Blue like number four. Blue like number four. Blue like number four. Blue, blue like, like number four. Here comes the brain game. Hooray! Am I back? You are, and you've got to get all the blue things back. OK.
Now, where else do we need some blue? Are you okay? I think so. Good. We need you to help get the other colours back. And we've got to sort out Spooky Spoon. If she wants colours, send her lots of colours. Send them all together. Brilliant! Three, bring everyone's buddy blocks over to the brain game machine. What's going on here? Hurry up. I don't want to be Spooky Spooned again. Now, imagine as many colours as you can. Yellow, red, blue, orange, green, purple, pink. That's it. Here comes the brain game. Missing yellows and reds back. Scanning now. All the yellow things are back. And all the red things are back. Great. So now we can have four back. Come home, four. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four! Phew! Am I glad to be home. Well done, Four. You were very brave. And we really sorted Spooky Spoon out this time. It was tough going, though. On the screen now. Lots of things were going missing. They were all yellow. I went out. It was Spooky taking the yellow things. Then she started taking red things. And the blues. And then she took me. Four's buddy block helped rescue him. And then we sorted Spooky. She couldn't make up her mind what colour to be. And we got all the colours back into the world. Another good job done. Look, you two. I've put all the slidey shapes into groups. Red ones here, yellow ones here, blue ones here. Now it's much easier to see where everything is. Well done, Three. Don't they look tidy? Just one thing. There's a blue slidey shape here with all the yellow ones. Oops, better start again. Stop! No need to mess them up again. There. All sorted. Thanks, Four. Can you find three things? A yellow thing, a red thing, and a blue thing. Check your colours and call the number jack. The number jacks are on their way. Think of all my beautiful things, you are the most beautiful. Hi, Three. What have you got there? One of my beautiful things. Booful. It's my best one. Best. And look, it can turn into two beautiful things and then fit back together again. It's great, Three. Great. I know. And I love it. I want it. Uh-oh. I want it. You can have this. No, this. Two, bring it back. It's mine. No, mine. Oh, no. 
There you go, three. Thanks. Hey, two, let's go and see Seven. Oh. We could do some painting with her. Me paint? Yes. You like painting, don't you? It's all right. You're safe now. Oh, someone's got a problem. I'd better hide you somewhere. You'll be all right there till I come back. Three, where are you? Coming! <laughs> Something's going wrong. But not for long. What's up? Look at this picture. Hold on. I'm putting it on screen. <laughs> Did she paint it like that? No, it was a whole face when she painted it. <sighs> but now part of it's gone missing. How odd. And look at the fruit. Looks like that orange has been cut down the middle. But where's the other part of it? And this too. What's wrong here then? Look at that lunchbox. We'll send someone right away. OK, thanks. I'd love to know what's happened to all those missing pieces. You go today then, Four. Maybe you can solve the mystery. What? Oh, no. I'm not sure if we can. Of course you can. Oh! We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We've got a problem, do we stop? Who's going out there? Number four! <laughs> Four to land on. Got some fours. Found a four. Phew. I'm glad that bit's over. Bits of the sandwiches are disappearing. We've got another call. Aiden 47 is something strange in the cafe. On screen now. That's a funny tablecloth. Part of it's been taken away. Like all the other things we've seen today. And it's a different shape now. I'll see what I can find out. Part of her pizza just went missing. What's going on today? Have you noticed, when bits of these things go missing, the things change shape? She's right. Oh, no. If things are changing shape, you know who might be changing them? Psst. The shape shaper's here. I was afraid she might be. I'm outside the spot centre. And if you look up there, Above the door, you can just see her. How did you find her? <laughs> Not difficult with that laugh. Let's see what we know about her. Looks like the shape shaper's back. Shape shaper, she's really very strange. Shape 
shape her. She loves to make things change. Changing faces, changing size, changing shapes every single day. Changing shapes is the shapeless game. The shape japers back. We know the shape japer loves to change shapes, but why has she been taking parts of things away? I wonder what she'll get up to next. You've got to try and stop her for... But how? <laughs> I'm glad she's happy. It's Adrian 96 here, has travelled with the table tennis. On the way. They've lost part of their ball. Some of the net's gone too. And he's lost out of his trousers. What did you just say for? <laughs> that man's lost half his trousers. Half his trousers and half a ball and half of the net. So that's what the shape jape is doing. What? She's taking away a half of everything. Oh dear. If the shape japer keeps on taking halves of things, anything could happen. <laughs> People would be left with only half of their favourite storybooks. And they wouldn't be very comfy if their beds were half beds. <laughs> and what about the dancing cow? Half a dancing cow would only have two legs, and she'd fall over. <laughs> We've got to stop the shape japer's halving trick. And how can we get all these half things back to whole things? Agent's ringing in to help. We've still got one half of all these things. They all need two halves to make them whole again. Can you do it with brain gain? But what could we use to make two halves of everything? I know. Number two. I'll fetch him. I'll get the machine going. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together. Join up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. Go on, two. Have a good jump around. Me, jump. Two, two, two. Two, two. two halves make a hole. Two halves make a hole. Here comes the brain game for. Everyone together. Two halves make a hole. Normal. Well done, Four. Just one thing. Where's the shape japer got to? There's an emergency in the party room. On my way. The shape japer's spoiling the party. gone too far this time. I'm going to find her and I'm going to fix her. He's really cross, isn't he? I hope he doesn't do anything silly. Put the brain game machine into reverse. That's done. What's your plan for? She's over there. See? We're going to make a whole thing into two halves. Brilliant. 
Jump to Jump, jump, jump. One hole makes two halves. Louder. Each and two. One hole makes two halves. One hole makes two halves. Here it comes. <laughs> Come back now for... You bet! to be back. Nice work for you were great. Let's see it all on screen. Parts of things were going missing in a house. I went out to have a look. Then parts of things went missing in the cafe. And in the sports centre. The shape draper was taking halves of things and changing their shape. We sent brain games to make the half things back into whole things. Two halves make a whole. But then the shape draper spoiled the party. She took half the birthday cake away. You were really cross, Four. So we split the Shape Japer into two halves. She didn't like that. Bye-bye, Shape Japer. And a happy ending at the party. Here I am, my beautiful thing. Have you missed me? I want it. Oh, no. Please me have it. Well, you were very good on the brain game machine, so... You can have half and I'll have half, just for a little while. Beautiful. It is, isn't it? That's really kind of you three. OK, out there, you need to know about halves. Can you fold a piece of paper exactly in half? Not easy. So any problems, call the number jacks. <laughs> 